Does it bother you that currently you can't run for president? Does it bother who? You. Me? Yeah. What a question you're asking. If I can't run for president? Yeah. I don't think it bothers me. I think I think it, it, it's it, not your choice. Everything else in your life so far as an adult yeah. has been your choice. Listen, some people are put there to help somebody else do it. Meaning, maybe one of my kids is going to be a president. And my job is to help Joe shape Kennedy their mindset. Yeah. yeah, Maybe I'm a Joe Kennedy. Maybe I'm a uh, Fred. Maybe I'm a Prescott. Maybe I'm that guy. And I'm very comfortable playing that role. Because yeah. I'm, you know, this this is a area I enjoy the kingmaker part of the game. Yeah. I enjoy it. The other night we're having a conversation until 1 o'clock in the morning, five hours I'm having a conversation with this guy because I really think this guy is super capable of what he can do. We've had multiple few-hour conversations, sitting there talking to Jedediah, she, seeing what she's doing right now, our insurance company, seeing what our guys are doing. I freaking love that part of the game. Yeah. Oh, my God. But, like but, naturally. But, but a little bit. Oh, president? Yeah. I would vote for let, you. Let me. I think you, I'll be honest, I think you could do it. Let me let me give you one. If you're asking me like what laws I would change if I was a, a well, you can't do it constitution wise. Here's what it would be. Uh, I think there are people that love America more who weren't born here. Yeah, of course, of course. And I think the, the, if you wanted to really still keep the integrity of 35 years, do it 35 years from the day you came here, or 35 years from the day you became a citizen. Let that be the same as somebody that has lived here for 35 years. I think that law logically makes sense to me mm. if they did something like that. That law makes sense and to I me. And I think being in the military yeah. should give you a little bit more incentive because you've served and fought oh, for yeah. this yeah. place. So that should give you another, okay, knock off five years, he's Gucci. That's yeah. what I, I mean. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people that love America, but Pat's up there as one of the pro-American, pro-capitalist, pro capitalist, pro so let's say they change it. Let's say it changes the rule. What about it? What do you mean, what, you mean, what about <laughs> it? If they change it. <laughs> I see a smirk. If yeah, they I change it. I see a smirk. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'll be straight. This is the first time I'm talking about on the podcast like this. If they changed it, very high likelihood I would entertain running. So, very high Do you see Schultz's yeah. face? Pat, yeah. 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 Come on. Pat, give me that. Yo, yeah. imagine I'm on it. Andrew as the vice president just coming out. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not, I'm not there. Andrew's talking I'm shit. Like, I'm, who's talking I'm shit Kelly about Conway. that? I'm Kelly A. Conway. Send me the seat. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Anderson Cooper. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's so fucking no, funny. That, see, that's interesting. That's interesting. No, you're one of the first guys that... um. That I that I actually like that I would say well I don't want you to run because I don't want them to just tear apart your family and you go yeah. through all these things but but yeah I get a good sense from you that you you genuinely want to help so with all the craziness taking place I believe future looks bright if you believe future looks bright get your latest future looks bright hat of valuetainment it says future looks bright here future looks bright here we got them in white we got them in black we got them in red are black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people wore it in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying future looks bright. To order your future looks bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.